All right, so uh, welcome to the uh, Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, we've been taking a look at uh, the basics of some vectors. Uh, a lot of basics of vectors are really applicable, really important in higher level, level mathematics. It's important to be well versed in vectors. Um, unit vectors are especially important. Uh, unit vector is a vector that has length one. You're always going to see in all sorts of math books the vectors i, j, and k. These are the three major unit vectors in three space. i is 1, 0, 0. J is 0, 1, 0. K is 0, 0, 1. Uh, as you can tell, the magnitude of all those vectors, uh, each is going to be 1 because the magnitude is uh, the square root of the squares of each component added together. So uh, this is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared, which is 1. Again, 0 squared, 1 squared, 0 squared added together, 1. And then the square root of 0 squared, 0 squared, 1 squared, 1. Um, so you're going to see these vectors everywhere. Um, you can even sometimes see vectors denoted uh, as such. The vector 4, 3, 2 can be denoted as such. It can be denoted as 4i plus 3j minus 2k. So if you're dealing with vectors, uh, know that that's probably not added together variables. That's probably actually standing for a vector. Um, we can also, uh, unit vectors are important because we can also uh, find a unit vector in the direction of uh, a certain vector um, that's given. So if you have vector v, v1, v2, and v3, and you want to find a unit vector in the direction of v, you simply divide v by its own magnitude or multiply by a fraction that is 1 over the magnitude. So the unit vector in the direction of v is 1 over the magnitude of v times the vector v. The resultant is going to be a unit vector. Um, we're going to take a look at an example here um, so we can see how that uh, plays out with uh, real valued vectors. So we have a vector 6v equals 6, 3, 1 in 3 space. So uh, we're going to divide, or we're going to multiply uh, 6, 3, 1 by the fraction 1 over magnitude of 6, 3, 1. First, we need to find the magnitude. So the unit vector in the direction of v equals 6, 3, 1 is going to be 1 over root 46 times 6, 3, 1. Now uh, let's take a look at the magnitude of this resultant vector, um, and we'll show you uh, that it, it is indeed a unit vector. So the magnitude of this vector is going to be 6 over square root of 46, all squared, plus 3 over the square root of 46, all squared, plus 1 over the square root of 46, all squared. Uh, it's just going to end up being 36 over 46, plus 3 over 46, plus 1 over 46. And as you can see, we do indeed get a unit vector 
uh, with length one when we divide the magnitude or when we divide v by its own magnitude. And that's how you find a unit vector in the direction of a vector.